Internet can make or break your live streaming experience. Let's talk about how to fix common connectivity problems while live streaming events. Hey, this is Gaston Garcia for Event Live. The most important aspect of your live stream is that it should be enjoyable for the viewers at home. That's the whole point of broadcasting an event, isn't it? You can get a better phone, camera, or even spend on a professional microphone, but the biggest quality improvement will come from a stable internet connection. Here are some of the basic things to keep in mind when preparing for your next event. First of all, do not rely just on the venue's Wi-Fi. Not only it can be pretty bad, but also guests can show up and cause interference or employees might use the bandwidth and you'll end up with a lousy upload speed. Number two, consider the distance. If you're outside the venue or away from the router, the Wi-Fi signal will be worse the farther you go. When working outside, LTE is usually the better option. Number three, bring your own backups. Getting a data plan for your phone is always the easiest solution to most common problems. If you can get your hands on a hotspot, your chances of getting great signal are almost guaranteed. The industry standard is the Netgear Nighthawk, but if you can't afford to spend that much, there are other alternatives you can find on Amazon with decent reviews. The fourth tip I have for you today is to combine your internet connections. When streaming from your phone, consider using an app like Speedify. It allows you to use both Wi-Fi and LTE at the same time. This is called bonding, by the way, in case you decide to look for alternatives. Even though Speedify isn't free, it might be worth paying for if you run a live streaming business. I recommend you to test it yourself and see if it fits your setup. When streaming from your camera on locations with very bad internet, you can consider purchasing LiveU Solo. It enables bonding natively and it works very, very well. Tip number five, verify your connection before prime time. Check which carrier has a better reception at your venue. It could be AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, or the ones that are available in your country. Now that we're talking about mobile carriers, remember to verify your data plan. Make sure you know how many gigabytes they include until they cap. Even if they say unlimited, they might reduce your speed after a certain amount of data has been transferred. On the sixth spot of our list, calculate how much data you will need. Events Live Phone App uses about one gigabyte per hour in HD quality, but it can double for full HD streaming. At 1080p with a bitrate of five megabits per second, you would use about 2.5 gigabytes per hour of live streaming. Number seven, verify your internet connection. If you're using the Event Live app, open it at the venue using LTE or Wi-Fi. Compare both options to see which one shows the good signal versus poor signal prompt on your screen. To measure your internet speed, you can use the speed test app or visit fast.com in your internet browser. Please note that the minimum requirement for streaming is two megabits per second with a stable upload speed. These tips might sound like a lot of work, but it's crucial that you verify your internet options before going live. To simplify things a bit, here's a brief summary of what you need to know. Have one or two sources of your own 4G, LTE or 5G connection at hand. It could be your phone, hotspot, router, but ideally you will have different providers. You should know where your routers are at every venue. If you don't have clear sight or bad signal, try changing positions. Test the venue's Wi-Fi and your own internet sources before the event. Choose what's best and be prepared to switch if it worsens. Make sure you have enough data on your carrier's plan. While working on remote areas, consider adding backups or bonding solutions. And that's it. Not too hard, right? In most cases, I find that a good LTE connection works great for most environments. No matter what, I still recommend you to have a backup plan just to be safe. I hope these tips will help you on your next event. And if you have any others, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. To watch more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next week.